All right, we have something epic. This is a 1,200 feet per minute Schindler port machine room using um, hot and machines. This is epic. Look at these things, they're massive. Loud brakes. Pretty normal on these um, older hot, old hot machines. These were installed in the 80s. This is epic. Got some fans blowing into the controllers. 1987. 104 horsepower. These are huge. We got them a port display in here. Can't really show it because it will um, disclose the location. One. should start moving momentarily. There's um, your commutator, the brushes right in here. That is your bearing back there. It's your armature, your field coils. Note, this is for um, 408 volts, 425, okay. And if you touch anything electrified in here, you will get killed. Just um, a disclaimer, do not enter any machine rooms, especially ones like this, all this um, large, large machineries. You can get easily killed, electrocuted in uh, many ways. So that's just a disclaimer. I only make these videos for y'all some enjoyment so you don't have to go filming machine rooms yourself. And honestly, this is one of the coolest ones I think I've seen. This is amazing. This is so awesome. We're not regional by this group, okay? So this one apparently doesn't want you to go to lobby. These obviously serve the lobby. It's just, I guess this um, port panel in the machine is not programmed properly. Oh, <laughs> this one. These things are monsters. It's incredibly impressive equipment. Installed back in the 80s.
machines are very low RPM for um, how fast they travel. Down there to the shaft. Not much work room in here. Here it goes. Look at that um, fly ball go under go. That's so cool. Looks like they um, must have had an HVAC issue recently and had the um, employ all this temporary gear to keep it cool in here, but it's ice cold in here. These machines must make a ton of heat. Look at the size on the coil, our field coils in here. These things are huge. Sorry for this being kind of a lengthy video. I really want you to just enjoy these. These are so awesome. POV from the other side of these machines. Don't have much room back here. Gonna get some full um, angle pictures. Wow, this is amazing. Got a laptop open here. I'll see if I can place some calls to it. Hold on. Alright. I don't know if you get to scale these machines, but these things are huge. These things are absolute monsters. These are some of the biggest machines I've ever seen. 1,200 feet per minute. Very high-pitched drive noise. It's almost to the point where it hurts my ears a little. That is because these have harmonic isolators in them. So the sound is pretty much just them. Um, the frequency running to the motors. That's about it. You don't hear um, the loud humming noises. These don't, they don't have any um, noisy drive isolator transformers up here. And you see how long it looks like it takes to decel? These actually accelerate and decelerate incredibly fast. You just can't really see that because these machines run at very low RPMs. That's a part of um, why they last so long. The functionality of them running low RPMs lengthens some all the components' lifespans. So they don't have to work as hard. It's also pre-door, very efficient controllers. 
incredibly reliable as well. Also notice they got a couple ubiquity PoE switches up in here. I actually use some of those ubiquity switches in my home. That's pretty neat to see them in on the commercial machine room. They are um, semi-professional. We have a lot of them. There's um, a lot of space to cover, so we have like 10 APs. These Schindler port panels run on PoE. And throughout the shaft at every floor, um, they have a PoE receptacle that splits off the PoE. And in every couple floors, they have a PoE switch in the shaft. And basically, power over Ethernet. It can run um, data and power over the same cable. And this is the same type of cable you would plug into an access point or on a computer. Except for access points, ours actually use PoE. It's pretty neat. It's also cool to see it um, being heavily integrated in the elevator industry. It's a very reliable technology. But I think that about concludes this video. Hope you enjoyed. This was epic.